up like volcanoes and then subsides. And when it subsides, you have to make a decision. You have to work out whether your roots are so entwined together that it is inconceivable that you should ever part. Because that is what love is. Love is not breathless. It is not excitement. It is not the promulgation of eternal passion. That is just being in love, which any fool can do. Love itself is what is left over when being in love has burned away. And that is both an art and a fortunate accident. Those that truly love have roots that grow towards each other underground. And when all the pretty blossoms have fallen from the branches, they find that they are one tree and not two. <laughs> you look so handsome. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> it's a perfect day. says going to the mountains is going home. Oh, these vast, calm, measureless mountain days, inciting at once to work and to rest. Days in whose light everything seems equally divine, opening the thousand windows to show us God. Nevermore, however weary, should one faint by the way who gains the blessings of one mountain day. Whatever his fate, long life, short life, stormy or calm, he is rich forever. Although this is not the beginning of your adventures together, the words you share next with one another will indeed bring you to a summit, and you'll continue your adventures as husband and wife. From, From this, this moment, moment, I, David. I, Jessica. Take you, Jessica. Take you, David. As my partner for life. I pledge to honor, encourage, and support you through our walk together. When our way becomes difficult, I promise to stand by you and support you so that even in our trials, our union becomes stronger. I promise to work at our love and always make you a priority in our life. With every beat of my heart, I will love you. I will love you. This, this, this is, is my vow. Jessica and David have desired each other in marriage, affirm their love and faith to each other, sealing their vows in the giving and receiving of rings. In the sight of these witnesses, I now proclaim you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride.
I want to tell you a little bit about Jess's life. Oh, God. <laughs> she, she was born in Denver, Colorado. Uh, on the same night that Walter Cronkite, the famous broadcaster, retired. We left our house at 10 till 6, drove to the hospital, and Jess was born in 601. So I was able to turn the TV on in the delivery room and watch Walter's last night, which for me was a big thrill since I watched him growing up. Um, this is going to be very short. Uh, I have a little gift for Dave and Jess. It's a pillow that says, a fisherman lives here with the catch of his life. Aww.